Hello and welcome back to our series of videos on the augmented reality sandbox. Today I want to talk about the core functionality of the air sandbox, which is turning a physical sand surface into a live topographic map. The way it works is that the air sandbox constantly scans the sand surface using a depth sensing camera and then converts those scans into digital 3D models, which are colored and augmented with a variety of functions and then projected back onto the sand. In other words, any changes to the sand surface will be reflected by the digital display in real time. We can create mountains, valleys, plains, whatever we imagine. Now, you might have noticed that there's a one second delay between the physical change I make and the air sandbox reacting to it. That is on purpose in order to filter out hands, tools, and other moving objects. You see that me moving my hand above the sand does not affect the display at all unless I hold my hand perfectly still for one second. However, the length of that display is configurable and I want to show you what it looks like when I turn it to the minimum setting. As you can see, the display is now updated without delay. Actually, it's still around 50 milliseconds and the air sandbox feels very different as a result. But you can also see that my hands and tools are interpreted as terrain meaning if I hold my hand above the sand, it immediately shows up as a mountain. You can also see a lot of jumpiness, especially around the black contour lines. For those two reasons, I strongly recommend running the air sandbox with a default one second delay, unless it's really necessary for your specific use case. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video in the series.